Okay, so here it is. I have pretty much the same opinion of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny that everyone else has. It's better than Crystal Skull, but it never reaches the height of those original three. You walk out of this movie with a heavy sigh of... Eh. Well, let me start with what I did like. Harrison Ford. He is never willing to give a lazy performance. Oddly enough, what I liked about this movie was the character stuff. We meet Indy as he's retiring. It's 1969, and he comes to the realization that his world is changing. While he's been stuck in dusty old lecture halls teaching about the past, America itself is reeling over the moon landing. Now see, that's an interesting angle. I like that idea. Unfortunately, he is spun into an adventure that I couldn't care less about, that being over a former Nazi scientist who wants the other half of an ancient device that can... who cares? <laughs> really, I, I couldn't care less about this adventure. This is a movie of missed opportunities. I mean, the characters are all here. Sala is here to impart a piece of information before he leaves the picture altogether. There's a kid sidekick who could easily have been an open door for the return of Ki Hui Kwan at Short Round. There's so much that could have been in this final adventure. But this is a very softly written movie, and I'm probably not going to be back. I'm happy just to leave this series as a trilogy.